<laughs> Woo! You know, Carolina just continues to just blow everybody out they play. Except the App State game. That was their that was App State Super Bowl. But since then, this team has really just took care of business in every other game since that. Every game but the App State game, App State game, they have took care of business and in in real good fashion too, okay? But today I thought was the best game that they played all year. And prior to today, I thought the South Carolina game was the best game they played all year. But uh, speaking of who we got coming next week, uh, has anybody checked the scoreboard of of uh, of this shit show right here I'm watching on TV? The Miami Hurricanes? Yeah, you know the Miami Hurricanes shit show that normally comes on every week? That's right. And it'll be there next week when we whip their ass and, and send them back to Miami. Degrading them from a tropical storm to a tropical wave. <laughs> and NC State fans, congratulations. You were able to move the ball today. You got your new quarterback, a backup quarterback. You you were able to you were able to do some things, you know, on offense, but but your defense was a problem. It was a problem. <laughs> Ooh, hmm, bad. And Clemson, what in the blue hell was that today? You're Clemson. That's that's just who you are. You are now middle of the ACC. You're not up there with with our Florida State. You're not up there with us. You know, and we're going to beat you in Memorial Stadium. I promise you. Uh, and it's going to be bad too. Uh, <laughs> this has just been a lovely day for me outside of the Braves game, you know, which I expected the Braves to lose because they just don't have the, the bullpen that can, that can go with the flow in, in, in the postseason like they did in 2021. I expected this. But uh, staying on college football topic, <laughs> the Buffaloes, Colorado, Colorado, Coach Prime, what the hell? You're up 21-17 in the fourth quarter against who? Kalamazoo. Yeah, you're up there. You're up 21-17 in, <laughs> in the fourth quarter against – Kalamazoo and Arizona State, who's only won one game all year, lost four, just absolutely embarrassing. You are who I thought you were, overhyped, not Coach Prime. Just because you play for my Cowboys don't mean you're Coach Prime, okay? All right? <laughs> and, and, and Miami fans – you need one of these right now. Coach Koo, this would probably do you some good right now because you probably are are sitting on your ass on the floor just begging for mama and daddy to spank your ass because that's exactly what's going to happen next week. <laughs> I'm just starting to feel that much confidence in North Carolina right now. I'm that much confident in, 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 in Drake May, Tez Walker, our wide receivers. This is the best wide receiving core Carolina's had in a long time. And before this game with, between Miami and Georgia Tech, I said if North Carolina can win next week, that they'll win out. Because I think they're better than Florida State. I think they will beat Florida State in, in, in Charlotte, basically a home game. I think they would beat Florida State. Florida State didn't show me that n nothing that good today. I mean, they, they were up, what, 22 to 17 against Virginia Tech at home? That's not showing me a lot. Yes, they finished the 
the game with two touchdowns and a field goal. But, I mean, they should have beat Virginia Tech. With everybody saying as good as Florida State is supposed to be, they should have beaten Virginia Tech 55-7. to Didn't happen. Um, North Carolina by far looks like the most superior team right now in the ACC. Call me what you want to say. Just because I'm a Carolina fan, I'm just being flat out honest. But uh, are you ABC fans? Are you Carolina haters? Look, I'm going to do this for you. I'll have a beer for you. And I'm going to do this for you. <laughs> <laughs> 